big dogs uh, in the upgrades of this MS400 steel. Um, the oiler, uh, we've uh, tweaked the power a little bit, bumped the compression up, advanced ignition timing, uh, increased the flow in various areas, and all said and done, the front of the factory muffler cover sets about two, a little over two millimeters forward of the original, uh, which I perceive would cause problems with felling spikes or dogs. So uh, we reverse engineered the original, uh, which is on the left, reverse engineered it and multiplied it to the one you see in the middle. The one on the far right is an MS660 dog. So you can see we've uh, substantially increased the size, and uh, there it is. Uh, the structural or metal parts of the saw, that is the tallest part of the saw, it's taller than the cylinder, and shields the factory muffler cover well. Uh, you can see the fit up uh, is correct. We'll spin it around. And there it is on the front. Uh, this would not work well with a bark box in this configuration. Uh, there is one hole there for weight reduction and cooling. So that's kind of what we did. Uh, speaking about fuel tanks, we'll talk about fuel tanks just for a minute. All right, so concerning the fuel tanks on these saws, uh, you got your 400 right here. Um, it shares fuel tank with the 362 and the 311 and the 391, all of which were introduced in 2019. Uh, steel uh, departed from this uh, type of uh, tank a manufacturer some time back and um, this is a, a 461 right here and this is a, a 660 we see that webbing in the pistol grip area uh, the 400 breaks right along here uh, if you look through my uh, 400 playlist you'll see Mitch Zenobi in there also I'll put in this video a link to diesel power where they break one of the early 400s uh, it's a weak point right there. That's just hollow inside there. Also the compound. I don't know about the plastic compound, but you have the, the 400, 311, 362, and 391 all share the same tank. So keep that in mind, along with the handlebar and, and several other components. Now this is the 361. I don't recall there being a lot of trouble with the 361. Uh, maybe due to the uh, molecular composition, uh, also known as the recipe in the plastic compound. Uh, the 460, 046, 461, very tough unit, very tough unit. And obviously the 660, a very tough unit uh, as far as in the field. Now, what to do about this? Uh, aluminum tank guard, that's the best thing I know to do on that, or be careful, be mindful of it. Now, as we said, I don't remember the 361 having a lot of trouble with that. Uh, BASF provides the plastic compound for the 400C's main competitor, which is, in my opinion, the Husqvarna 562 and the Echo 620, a close second. Um, also, the plastics are uh, composed by BASF. And that's where the plastic compounds come from for the Echo and the Husqvarna saws. Uh, I believe that maybe the, the components or the recipe for the plastic may be the culprit in the failures on the steel uh, products as of late. I don't hear a lot about that with the 462 and 500i. Um, I want to do a demonstration right quick uh, with a tank off of an original Steel 038. Hang with me. All right. Um, this is an original tank from a Steel 038. Uh, part number 119791105. And uh, we notice this webbing right here. Now, this is busted. 
Uh, it took a vertical load with a log and busted the tank. However, pistol grip remained intact. You will not do that with a 400C. It will bust in a million pieces. This is an old tank, probably 40 years old, and you saw what happened, basically nothing. Uh, this is JB Weld and paint, enough to get us by till we got a new tank. So uh, that, in my opinion, uh, talk about uh, big dogs and fuel tanks and 400s. Thank you for watching.